Queen Bianne High School is leading the way in providing educational opportunities for their Aboriginal students. Miss Jennifer Green, Principal at Queen Bianne High School, explains. So we've just gone over 12% um, of our students identify as Aboriginal and that is up um, three years ago it was 9%. We have um, established an Aboriginal Learning Centre here and we've also got two Aboriginal School Learning Support Officers to provide that one-on-one uh, -on -one intensive support and intervention for students. So that service uh, is a space and we've started to personalise learning for all of the students and we also are working very hard to encourage our students not to collude with negative stereotypes about what it is to be Aboriginal. When we have high expectations and our language is about growth and possibility and feedback is positive and growth focused, that's when we st start to see change happen and a lot of that comes down to the one-on-one -on -one relationship, the students to the teacher, the teacher to the parents, and, and that triangle has to be um, one with really strong trust-based relationships established and maintained. They, they get a lot out of it, and our um, attendance is really great because they've got that safe place, then they get used to the idea of having a role model or somebody to come to and say hello to and just have a chat to, and I, I suggest to these kids that most important part of their life is at school. Initiatives such as these are a step in the right direction to overcome national gaps in attendance, numeracy, literacy and Year 12 attainment between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal students. Regardless about what facilities you may have, it is about that expectation that the child we get in kindergarten can be whatever they wish to be. The New South Wales Department of Education have very clear um, policy framework of, uh, around Aboriginal education. A school can do those, meet those obligations without really buying into the core purpose. The activities also need to be more than a tokenistic ticker box approach. That's the trick I suppose, that's where you've got to use culture to shift practice. And that's not only Aboriginal culture, but the culture in a school. We're starting to make changes. Our data showing our growth is really um, tracking uh, very positively. To see three boys in year 11 and 12 who've never submitted more than two sentences for an assessment task, submit a page and a half, was mind blowing. Um, and to see the pride on their faces that they submitted something that they viewed to be on par with other kids in the class was, you, you can't pay for that um, sort of feedback. That, that was really powerful.